What's up, Zox fam? And we're back with some more Dislight. Now, we're going to be getting into my day five progression on the Free to Play Chronicles. Uh, just really diving in and seeing what I've adjusted to help some of you guys out that are still trying to power push. So, we're going to get into it. Uh, now, the first thing is, is that, of course, uh, looking at my Ritual Miracles, we actually start here this time. Uh, I actually was able to uh, get up a little bit higher. I think the last video we're on floor five. Now, I'm actually able to do uh, floor seven on auto. I can't blitz it yet. Uh, but I am able to do it. Now, the team I'm using is still the same. Uh, I'm using uh, Meredith, uh, Death Guard Bai, or sorry, Death Guard Hay. Uh, I'm using Azure Dragon, Changpu, and Sanders. Now, I actually did some pulls, and I'm going to be revamping this team some uh, after doing those pulls. But for the time being, this is the team that I was utilizing. Uh, I did go ahead and I gave some extra levels. So I took um, my Death Guard uh, Hay to uh, level 40, and then I five star him, as well as Azure Dragon. Uh, and then I took took my uh, Sander up to level 30, right? Uh, now, with that being said, like I said, there are a couple of different units that I'll be swapping in. So if we actually go here, I actually got lucky and I was able to pull Jiang Mong from the banner. Uh, literally in my last multi, I just pulled. Uh, so I'll actually be alternating her into the team. Uh, and then, of course, we also have Kara. So I'm going to be slowly but surely uh, trying to decide what kind of sustain comp I want to do. Uh, because I also think that I am going to, once I get to the 100 Wish Stones, uh, I think I am going to pick up that one copy of Leon because she's just that freaking good. Um, so I think that that's who I might end up like really ultimately investing in as far as that five star that I really want to throw resources into. Uh, and this is obviously a really, really important learning lesson because I feel like with a lot of, um, you know, people starting out newer, uh, they feel like you have to go crazy with investing in the five stars that you get. And no, you do not have to. I have not really touched any other five star outside of Laling. Uh, the other five star that I did recently pull, though, was Hades. Um, so, you know, again, that's just another five star that I'll be utilizing maybe later on, like especially once I shift into like some more PVP and stuff like that. Uh, but for the most part, I actually will show you guys the run. And then I'll show you guys the gear. Uh, this is like one of those things that is kind of weird. Like sometimes the uh, my sander will die, <laughs> uh, especially when we get to the Kronos uh, or to the boss wave. Uh, and the rest of the team can honestly sustain themselves. Uh, I haven't pushed up any higher, though, uh, just because it's not reliable going into. Uh, and I have tried to do the uh, floor up. It's just not reliable. Right. Um, but for what it's worth right here, they actually do pretty well. Uh, and it's OK if you're not blitzing right uh, i think that that's one of the like mentalities is like oh as soon as i get to here i should be able to blitz it and it's like no that's not going to be the case it might be uh a little bit before you're able to fully blitz it but as long as you can throw it on multi-battle and you can walk away and go and do other stuff that's still just as good uh especially if you're a fresher player right uh so we're coming up killing uh the second wave here uh, and then getting into the boss wave it's just really simple it's just using and utilizing the ap manipulation on the lower floors ap manipulation is actually pretty solid it's when you get up higher where like chronos just gets so much of an ap push forward uh that it really doesn't benefit you as much as it you know used to um but again meredith does some pretty solid damage as well as helping with the sustain defense break coming from death guard uh death guard hey immunity coverage with chang pu uh and then of course azur dragon is helping out a lot with the ap pushback and as well some extra damage and this is just ultimately just allowing us to be able to sustain our way essentially through the fight. Um, Changpu and Meredith together, like I said, is an excellent, excellent freaking combination. And I feel like that's fairly free to play. Like if you don't pull Changpu as one of your three stars, that's kind of like that is a little unlucky, uh, to be honest. Um, but even then, I still think that it would suffice with like Helena. The only thing you'd be missing is that immunity coverage, which is why I still feel like Changpu is that ultimate, um, you know, kind of like substance for not having a Sally or not having a Hung Yue. Um, she is extremely, extremely good. And technically, if I had no choice to use her in 16, I could also use her on floor 16 of Kronos, right? Uh, but this is actually a fairly good run. Not even going to lie to you guys. Uh, they actually did pretty well on this one. 
So there we go. G freaking G. So uh, that's what my Kronos runs are looking like right now. I'm on floor seven, which is great because the other thing is, is that I'm now able to start farming up the uh, pieces required. Um, so, yeah, we actually did that in a three turns. So that's actually be uh, even better. Uh, but I'm actually able to if we go back to the difficulty here, I'm actually now able to start farming the shards for the Fatum sisters and as well as for era and the uh, other Azur dragon copies that I need. Right uh, now, of course. Of course, uh, with um, a pep, I haven't touched that and I haven't touched that for a very good reason. I have a whole separate video as to why I haven't touched it, but I haven't touched it yet. Um, I'm just purely focusing on my Kronos right now since that is of the utmost importance and I haven't touched Fafnir yet either. So we'll focus on those in uh, future videos right now. One thing that I wish I would have did a little bit earlier, though, uh, is the uh, event, right? So I actually went and I cleared all of the event. I 100 percent it every last part of this event and in my head for some reason and this is why it's so important even for like veterans to go back and play these things because I was thinking that the story was going to be a little bit too hard for a fresher account to do uh, but the thing is is that they actually have the story scaling according to where you're at in the game so all of my enemies were level 60 whereas if I was doing this on my main account I think they're like level 70 some or 80 like you know they kind of jump up a little bit um, so it really is based off of where you're at in the story so do not negate doing this as early as you possibly can as soon as it says it's unlocked which i know that was another component as to why i wasn't able to go and do it right away but as soon as this unlocks it's really important you go and do it uh, especially if there is an event up because then that's memo chips and that's stamina like i was getting you know uh uh was it stacks of um i think it was like 100 or 50 memo chips and then 50 stamina uh for each of the nodes that i did that had like um you know an attack symbol on it that went into a box uh and even just getting a box it was just more resources for me to be able to farm now as far as the shop that um that you know what i bought uh i have been accumulating so much of the bizarre points essentially uh, i was actually able to come in here and buy out a significant amount of the stuff only couple of things i need to buy are the remainder of the memo chips and the experiment right uh also the gold as well and that's another thing i'm kind of running into i don't have any gold uh and the thing is is that with that all being said and done, uh, I still haven't attempted the trial yet. Um, I still I'm going to do it, but I'm trying to build up my roster just a little bit because on my main account, I will even say even on an end game account, this is not the easiest thing to do. Uh, so realistically, trying to accomplish this as a free to play that just started, uh, probably not going to be the best performance, uh, but I am going to try to do it and see how far I can get on it. Right uh, now, outside of that, uh, we have done um, some shifts as far as the Sonic rift uh, i currently am now on nine i think before i might have been on seven and i was autoing seven so now i'm on nine i'm able to farm that comfortably uh 10 is where you start to kind of get some of the shielding mechanic a little bit more uh so you know my team isn't strong enough to really deal with that yet so i am working through gear pieces right now for that uh and then of course for the uh, sonic miracle um haven't really done too much with this you really don't have to go too crazy uh for infernus though i have gotten up to floor six so i'm gonna start doing that soon but everything else is just kind of like, you know, working as I go. Now, if we go back again, and we go to the spatial tower still at the same place cube miracle i actually can show you guys this time uh, i am on uh floor three so this is going to be the new floor that i'm going to be attempting so we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and start that so i will be attempting floor three once i clear that it's going to give me some more shards for my death guard hey and i'll be good right uh and then of course for expeditions um i really honestly like i said like with the allotted stamina that i have uh i i really honestly just try to make sure i'm at least doing one so let's actually go back and let's do you know units <laughs> that are actually the right level um and even then i'm still not going to fulfill the requirement because i don't have a level 50 shimmer yet so that's all right so we'll just throw it and let it go for what it's worth and i at least try to do the daily exploration because that's really all my stamina really allows me to be able to do at this point um you know considering like i said i'm much newer now i've had a few people actually join the uh, club so um that's going to be great I haven't really touched too much of the club content because again got to be account level 40 uh for that to even be the case uh and this i got uh, again guys is with doing no stamina refills like if you guys look here uh i don't touch any of this um right and i'm not doing it for very very valid reasoning because i was trying to see like what i could do realistically 
um, you know, with either what I got and what I was also able to pull. Um, and trying to balance both is kind of impossible. Like you're not going to really be able to do a reasonable amount of pulls and then also then be refilling stamina at the same time. Uh, so you have to kind of work with what you got and then doing stamina pots. And then trying to just allocate your resources properly so that you can actually level up your account to gain more stamina. Now, that is all in all. Um, oh, one last thing. I'll show you guys this, too. Now, I was able to start getting like some four star pieces. So I do have four star gear uh, or level 40 gear that I'm starting to work in. Uh, and even if we go here, you'll see I do have other four star pieces, but they're not the best in slot. Like this one right here is a HP percent, which would be better technically than this flat HP. But it's also not for the set that I'm trying to use. And this is primarily going to be Chronos based stuff. Um, so I'm eventually going to be shifting into those pieces. But just because you get four star pieces doesn't mean that you start taking pieces off because that doesn't mean they're the best or the more optimal pieces so uh as far as my units gearing and stuff i definitely want to make sure i showed you guys this stuff uh, it's still all over the place like there's really no set in stone like hey this is you know fine-tuned and you got enough accuracy to land this like none of that is even uh a factor right now at all uh and it's just because of the accessibility and like i said it's the stamina that i have a lot to actually work with each day to not only push stamina or not only push story but to also be able to push the ritual miracle stuff that i'm doing doing uh and then of course uh very last thing uh is my uh story components um as far as where i'm at in easy uh, i currently am on chapter 11 right so i'm on chapter 11 so i need to push this some more uh, and then we'll be good and then uh like hard is all you know is much lower respectively right uh we did finish the um death guard hey death guard buy uh, i think that was for the pathway to or was that which one was that let me see if i can find it i don't know if it's still up or not uh it might have went away oh here it is path to mastery uh so we actually finished this up uh, it takes about five days on average to finish this um so yeah this is completely done you should have the twins at this point which is great uh but i was able to get death guard hey a little bit earlier so again that was just a dupe which again makes it more powerful uh now the last tidbit that i want to give you guys as far as um, you know just something you don't want to do using the rewind right uh, I don't think it's worth like trying to go crazy with trying to do something to have a unit to reset and all that other crap like just don't even touch this I would definitely say don't touch this either until you're ready or unless it becomes necessary you have 26 days so you have about 30 days to be able to use that uh, I'm not too pressed about using this just because of the fact that I mean honestly I'm not going to have anything I really need to reset unless I decided to go the extra mile with my Laling and reset him uh, that would be purely because of the fact of the uh, the road to legend here. Um, but again, that would be if I don't want to use them at all and I want those six star resources, I'm not putting any uh, skill ups or anything like that uh, into uh, this character and for very, very valid reasoning. But that's essentially my progression overall, guys. Uh, again, I'm trying to keep up with giving you guys a daily video. Uh, like I said, we'll probably start seeing some gaps in between like, you know, so like from here, probably like six to eight or, uh, you know, eight to ten uh, just to give myself a little bit more time to grind up and actually progress. Uh, but again, I have another video where I'm going to be talking about something that I feel like is really, really important, but I want to separate them just because this is purely focused on the progression aspect of what I'm doing with the free to play to Chronicles. Uh, and the next videos, uh, next couple of videos, I really want to get into the state for this right uh just free to play progression and just new players right but that's pretty much going to be that guys let me know what you guys think in the uh comment section down below everybody stay blessed stay charged up i'll catch you guys in the next one